Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, the podcast. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Thursday episode where we do a little information session, throwback, history lesson. And today we're going to talk about Jasper Jacks. Yay. And so he's brand, or he's not brand new, he's (laughs) back. But first, before we get into that, I just want to invite you to come check out either our Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook page. If you just search for Peer 54 Podcast, we have a question going on. We're doing a little poll as to what's your favorite dad moment from General Hospital. So if you have a favorite dad moment, please share with us yeah, on we're one not of those be channels just one. <laughs> and we don't respond to private messages on any of the channels. We do give you our email address for you to email any questions or anything. It would just be way too difficult to keep on top of all those notifications, all those private message channels. So please, if you have anything that you feel the need to go offline talking to us about, email it. And we don't do spoilers, so please don't email or mention spoilers to us. So that's our little PSA for that. (laughs) So now let's get into Jax. Mm, Go ahead. Okay, so Jax is back on the show right now. And as we discussed in Monday's episode, Some people might not know who Jax is and why he's such a big deal and all that history. He's been a part of everyone's past at some point in time. Well, he started in 1996. So that makes sense. But it doesn't feel like it's been that long. No, it doesn't. You said that people were questioning the other day why he didn't want anyone to say anything. Didn't want Alexis to say anything about Nicholas. I was like, how do people not remember? But But yeah, that was was a while ago. Over 10 years ago. So it makes sense now. Yeah. Might have some newer fans that might be the age of some of these kids right. that are on the show now. <laughs> I don't want to and think about that. We're still the same age somehow. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. But so in 1996, so I'm going to go over Jax's storylines from 1996 to 2006. And then Amanda will go over 2007 to present because he definitely had a lot of gaps in both of our timelines. Yes, I believe. Yep. And so in 1996, we are first introduced to corporate raiders, how they described him then. Yes. Not international financier. He was born in Australia. However, his family moved to Alaska. Mm. And when he was younger, he was married to a woman named Miranda who died in an explosion because they all do. That happens often. I it happens, happens very frequently. Um, he comes to poor Charles. So I am using generalhospitalfandom.com, Wikipedia, <laughs> ABC, soapsindepth.com. And I used YouTube. If you YouTube the first time that we see Jax on TV, do you know what he was doing? You are so excited. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so Lois storms into his office area and he has this administrative assistant sitting out front as okay. his like gatekeeper. She's like, you can't be here without an appointment, blah, 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 blah. So Lois, and if you don't um, know Lois, yeah. we're going to have to do an entire episode oh, on her, but she is I from Brooklyn. Lois. So Lois Cerullo. Goes she doesn't take Jax. any crap. She does not. So she was getting in there no matter She was what. assertive. And she goes, I'm here to see Mr. Jackson. She's like, you need an appointment. She goes, okay, get me one for within the next hour. And then something happens and they actually do wind up. She winds up being able to go in. And suddenly you hear like these carnival noises and everything. And it's like, what the heck is going on right now? So Lois goes into his office and he is shooting, you know, like when you go to a carnival or the amusement park and there's those ducks that are swimming and oh, you yeah. shoot them and it's like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> He's shooting like an arcade <laughs> game that's behind the back of his, it's like behind his desk, shooting at these ducks that are going through. And he turns around and he's like, hey, you won a medium prize. And he actually has like stuffed animals on his wall. And so he gets her down some medium sized stuffed animal. And I'm just like, what? What is going on here? And I didn't remember that. No, I did not remember that either. So now I have I to mean, go back and watch it. He's just, he's it, the, the quality that I found on YouTube was very rough, but <laughs> it was definitely, and he has this long flowy hair. And I didn't dig into this. And, you know, we really try to keep on track with just the characters. Sometimes you do have to go a little onto another characters because they're together in the storyline. But Lois was trying to get her company back from Edward Quartermain. And I don't remember exactly what that was about. So whatever. Lois was married to Ned Ashton at the time. Right. And Jax didn't care. And he started trying to woo her. 
Oh, so the thing is, is that Jax kept calling her Mrs. Ashton, too. Mm. He wasn't like, you're Lois. He's like, oh, you're Mrs. A- Mrs. Mrs. Ashton. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. Oh, I bet she went off on him for that. No, she didn't. No? I mean, he didn't know her, so that's manners oh, okay. and etiquette. That's it is polite. Man- it is manners, but she doesn't. She did not like to be like owned by anyone. But, so. so she was Mrs. Ashton, and she said something about, how did you know it was me? And, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And he said, well, Ned is a friend of Max Scorpio, so any friend of Max Scorpio's is a friend of mine. So I think that because, I mean, Australia, yeah. is that how Jax came? Was because of Australia? That's where he came into Port Charles? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, they I don't just, think they ever told that much backstory. They didn't. And it didn't say in this research either. But th- he said that line. And I was, that's all I could think. I'm like, so I mean, you I Mac? feel like everyone in Australia doesn't know each other. No, it's a pretty that's big cool. place. <laughs> don't think that would pull it together. I mean, it could, but that's weird. Yeah. So anyway, Lois is married to Ned. However, Jax likes her and tries to get with her. <laughs> and... He even buys her a really nice ring. Mm. And I don't know if it was an engagement ring or anything, but to keep him, quote unquote, occupied, Lois introduced him to Brenda. Oh. And the first time that Jax meets Brenda, she's coming to return the ring to him. Uh. And do you know what he's doing the first time that he meets Brenda? What? He's playing a pinball machine. Oh my God. In his office. In another office. Not the same office. Right. In a different office. He's playing with a pinball machine. So, uh. Jax apparently used to be really into games. games. Right. I don't know where we dropped this. No. And I did not get the chance to watch every single, like, they, I mean, he used to be obsessed with these kind of arcade games and everything. But at the same time that she's giving back the ring, he's kind of hitting on her. I mean, he was a womanizer. He the was. But he's like, you know, this, that, and the other thing with Lois. And he goes, but I noticed that you're not wearing a ring. She just says, well, I don't have a husband or a fiance. He never asked if she had a boyfriend. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then, long story short, he asked her out, but then it was, like, right when she and Sonny had broken up, and so, but then she decided to get Sonny jealous, so she decided to go out to dinner with him. Mm. And she did try, so she tried to make him jealous, and during that whole thing, she winds up falling in love with Jax. Of course, how could you not? they eventually got married on his private yacht, because that's what we do. And then they decided to renew their vows with their friends and everything, and Sonny comes to the ceremony... And brings Miranda, mm. the dead first wife. I hate how they always come back from the dead. I know. It's very inconvenient. And do you know, she, I'm sorry, a lot of the times they have a good reason as to why they pretended to be dead. Right. Right. First was to hide the scars she suffered after the explosion. Uh huh. You don't pretend to be dead to your husband That's because you have very scars. vapid. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. And I honestly don't remember the storyline. I Do you vaguely, re- vaguely remember it's, it. Yes. It, yeah. And then, however, Jax decides to just keep on with Brenda. So, yay. One guy did not go back to his now Good. not dead first Good. wife. However, dur- sometime during that time, Brenda had gotten engaged to Sonny. <laughs> But Sonny left her at the altar to protect her from the dangers of mafia life. I remember mm. that. Yes. That was bad. Yes. Then she goes back to Jax and they become engaged again. And then Brenda is believed to be dead when her mom drives her off the yes, cliff. Because her mom was crazy. Yes. And after that, Jax learns that his father and his brother, Jerry Jax, had started the moth had started the family empire with mafia money. And they lost all their money. Mm-hmm. And then he goes to Monte Carlo and tries to rebuild his fortune and I mean, he must be really good at gambling if that's right. what he's betting right. on. I feel like I need to go to Vegas if you can make that much. I know. Well, you're a gambler. You and Jax <laughs> would get along. We would. You're I don't think I have anywhere close to the amount of money that Jax has to gamble, but I would enjoy helping him. So you him. do go to the casino a lot, but do you win? No. I, it's all donations. So as he's trying to rebuild his fortune, he meets Chloe. I love <laughs> Chloe. Oh, I loved her so much. I loved them. Yes. Sorry. We get that. I did. They were just so sweet together. They were. I liked them. She didn't do much for me. She was too nice. Yeah. She was good. (laughs) She was really nice. That's the problem. But she didn't have any, like, any problems. Right. That's why she was It was boring. great. So it's a good thing. Because I was actually thinking, like, Willow reminds me a lot of her. But then I'm like, no, but she's no. Got, at least got the cult thing going yeah. on. So she has a Willow little bit of edge. has a little bit of substance. Yes. 
She's in danger of losing her design company and has to be married at a certain time or she loses all the money from yeah, her, her. Like that was crazy. Yeah. Was and so they decide to get married. But well, no, she she decided like she and Jax weren't going to get married just to do that. No, she's so going to she, marry Ned. Right. That's what I was going to say. What? She's going to marry Ned so that she can get the money mm-hmm. and not have to like waste a marriage on Jax. Okay. Right. And at the time, Ned was with Alexis. Right. And oh God, I forgot. and so Chloe's aunt, who was, I guess, the widow of the uncle who had left the money, thought that she was scamming. Mm-hmm. So Jackson and Alexis got married. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that it looked like they all moved on with each other's exes. And Chloe winds up losing the company anyway. But she and Jax grew closer and she eventually falls in love with him. And he buys back the company of for her. Because that's what a man who loves you does. Here's a company. Right? Here's a company. Thanks, babe. You're the best. But then Chloe is somehow injured when Helena Cassadine runs her over in an attempt to kill Alexis. I don't remember that. Yeah. Part. But then Chloe develops psychic visions that are tied to Helena and Stefan Cassadine and tends to use these to help destroy his devious mother. And Stefan shows Jax a woman who looks just like Brenda. And Jax left Port Charles in search of his former lover. But while he was looking for Brenda in 2001. That doesn't feel like 2001. No. But go ahead. This is pre-kids for me. Right? I mean, not for me, but right. It was <laughs> early. It wasn't. You were not even toddler age yet, though. Right. So it was baby time. He was baby. So while search- searching for Brenda, Jax meets Christina Carter, who is Alexis's sister. And this was a storyline that I don't remember. No. And you know why? It's because I was in college. And this is what we were talking about before. Like, no DVRs. Right. I didn't have a VCR in my dorm. I had no way to watch it. Yeah. And the stuff wasn't on the internet. No, I didn't remember this part either, so I must have been taking a break. No, he reunites the sisters, and he tries to get back together with Chloe, but she turns him down because he left her for Brenda, mm-hmm. or who he thought was Brenda. Way to go, Chloe. Yeah, exactly. Good job. She- you do not take a guy back who dumped you to and go hopes. after somebody else. Right. You don't. So then Stavros comes and murders Chloe because she had become involved with Stefan. Right. And Jax was heartbroken. Was Tough it? luck, dude. Right. He that he got what he deserved there. Right. Not that she deserved to die. But he she got, didn't deserve to die. He got the fact that he wasn't yeah. able to have her back. And I yeah. remember Chloe dying. So that had to have happened over the summer or something. Okay. But so then he returned to corporate rating. So I don't know exactly what he was doing in all this time that he was not corporate rating he's too busy chasing after brenda i don't know do you know what i think he's supposed to be like i think he's supposed to be like edward and pretty woman oh okay you know i don't know jack's teams up with sky chandler quartermain mm. i like sky i like a sky lot. too and her brother aj quartermain to take over elq enterprises the family company and to destroy sunny i don't know how those two go together i can't remember i mean i know that he's always just oh, like kind of had a hated. destroy sunny right but then Jax goes into business with Carly, Sonny's wife, opening a nightclub in an attempt to free her from the ma- mafia lifestyle. He eventually did not like Sky, but then he became attracted to her and she plays the damsel in distress to lure him to her. The two get it on and <laughs> both are concerned when AJ becomes involved with Sonny's sister, Courtney. Well, yeah, AJ shouldn't be involved with anyone. No. The two briefly split, and when Jax learns that Sky has been working with Edward behind his back, but they're over to overcome that obstacle and get married. That is huge betrayal. Yeah. That's a lot to get over. Yep. On the night of his wedding to Sky, Jax is shocked to see a very much alive Brenda? Yes. How'd I know? In his cottage. Brenda explains that she faked her death, fearing that she suffered from the same fatal mental illness as her mother, and she had take she had been taken in by arm stealer Louise Alcazar. Oh. I loved him. I loved him too. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So for some reason, Brenda attempts to leave him, and then he shoots Jax, which paralyzed him. And Jax became depressed over his condition, and then he pushed Sky away. And pretended to be in love with Brenda still. Right. So then Sky learns that Brenda is not dying. Isn't she sick now? Isn't that why she's so like... I can't remember. Frail to everything. Like, she's just like very chill because of her health issues. I feel like there's health issues. I don't know. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that there's health issues on top of the mental. So then Sky learns that he's not... She's not dying. Jax discovers that Guy is keeping this information from Brenda. So he ends their marriage. I don't know. See, yeah. I think it was some type of disease that she, okay. that she had. We'll have to look Overjoyed. 
Look he tells you. Brenda the truth, and the two become engaged again. again. <laughs> and not even Sky begins drinking and becomes an alcoholic. It is straight to alcoholic Sky begins drinking again and starts an affair with Luis. Luis is murdered. Sky implicates Brenda and Jason Morgan, forcing Brenda and Jason to get married so they cannot testify to each other. Mm-hmm. Which I remember that. Yeah. She was initially found guilty. We don't have to get into all this because this is not Jax. Her marriage to Jason is annulled. Brenda and Jax prepare to wed again. And Jax leaves her at the altar when he learns that she kissed Sonny the day of their wedding. So Brenda leaves town. Sky goes after Jax. Unable to recapture their past love, Sky begs him to impregnate her. Wow. I mean, <laughs> she was just... <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's straight, straight to the point. Yeah, <laughs> but Ch- Jax chooses to leave town again. That kind of can't blame a girl for trying. That's shutting it down. <laughs> <laughs> that was more than I know. That was. I'm leaving this country. You know, <laughs> I'd be a little insulted if I was her. You know, I'd yeah. be quite so harsh about it. So then, and here's the thing, though, is like with remember how we, when we did it before we had the years. This we don't. We don't have the no, in 2003 and 2004. Right. So it, this is just all up until 2006. Right. So then he comes back to town in pursuit of a set of five cards called the Dead Man's Hand. Yes. That was an interesting storyline. It, it was, was. kind of like, all right, are we going cheesy here? But they kind of stayed. Once you brought Luke into it, it like solidified that it was a real story. Allegedly line. held by Wild Bill Hickok the night that he was killed. <laughs> Jax's father had them for most of his life and he believed them to be responsible for his, his success and after he lost them, his father lost yeah, a little land. that was so sad. And as Jax searched, he met a grifter named Sam McCall. Woohoo! Who was also searching for the cards in Port Charles. Of course she is. And this she is when is. she was like massive scuba diving. Yeah. All the time. All the time. <laughs> like all we saw right. was Sam and her so scuba gear. All. So yes. the only outfit she had. So initially at odds, it says, the two become attracted to each other while simultaneously sabotaging each other on their quest for the cards. So then they wind up being romantically involved. Jax gets the possession of the dead man's hand. He's able to get the cards back to his dad. He's unable to return the cards to his father in time to prevent his death. So Jax blames Sam for his father's death. And he starts to think that he is the father of Sam's unborn child. The relationship ends when Jax learns that Sonny is actually the father. Yeah. Sonny was sweet then, like when she was so upset. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was very sweet. But then... Jax begins to flirt mm. with Sonny's sister, Courtney. Do you remember this? He made a $10 million bet that he could Get basically, yeah, <laughs> that she wouldn't be able to resist him. Right. Courtney won, but then they do. Right, right. She had some strength And there. then they fall in love. They get married, and it's learned that Courtney cannot conceive. So that's when they decide to use Elizabeth as a surrogate. But then Courtney starts to get jealous and starts mm-hmm. to get upset because Jax Oh, he is was spending so much time with Elizabeth, Elizabeth because then. he was. Ca- I mean, and right, not in like a sexual way. No, I mean, like but that, he was but just taking like, care of the anything? surrogate. Do this? Yeah. yeah, but he did take an extra. That's a very emotional. I can only imagine. I mean, I've never been in it, but I can right. only imagine that's an extremely emotional I thing to go through. Courtney's jealousy, though, absolutely, because you know she had absolutely. to be feeling. She like felt like failure. she was a failure. She right. couldn't have his kid, so this woman can. Oh, and now you're getting his attention too. Well. Right. Let me just go to Nicholas. Exactly. Well, I don't know that that's the route I was It is. Oh, but... no, no, no. But I'm like, no, but that's what happened. <laughs> no, I know that's what she did, but that's not the route. And then they fall in love, and then they sleep together, and then she becomes pregnant. Yes. <sighs> and then Jax finds out, but then he switches the paternity test mm. twice to say We need he... some new lab techs in general. That's I know. In poor Charles. We need a better screening process here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> paternity tests are not that difficult. Like... Now you can just buy them in the grocery store. Right. We should have it done. Yes. Correctly. But, so, I mean, he really wanted to have a be the father. Yeah. Aww. And Courtney gives birth to a son, but dies shortly afterwards. And Carly, Courtney's best friend, helps Jax raise the son, and the two begin dating. Mm-hmm. Carly discovers that Jax is not the father, but keeps quiet to protect the baby from the Cassidines. Yeah. However, and this is why, like, okay, I, Robin is not my favorite. <laughs> she feels very strong in her convictions of being ethical. But when it suits her. Oh, right. That's the problem that I have. Right. It's not that she is, no, this is right and wrong. Like, Michael is a very, this is right, this yes, is wrong. Yes, it doesn't is. matter. 
Right now, Robin doesn't have Robin that same is, level Robin is, if this suits me, mm-hmm. it's going to right. work. Right, it has to you know? out. Yep. So she tells Nicholas that he's the dad. Jax is forced to give over the baby, whose name is Spencer. And just a couple things that happened during that time. So some crimes that he committed was he intentionally committed bigamy when he married Brenda and his first wife was still alive. Right. He illegally purchased the dead man's hand from Luke. He was threatened by Jason. He was, here's the thing. He was shot twice. Wait, before 2006. Hold on. He was shot. One, he was threatened by Sam to get shot. Mm -hmm. Two, he was shot by a pirate. (laughs) He was almost shot by Xander. He was shot in the leg by Faith Roscoe. He was bitten by a poisonous snake on Sunny's Island. And he bumped his head because we need to know that too. Mm -hmm. He was rendered unconscious after someone opened fire on him in the Metro Court and everyone else in the Metro Court. He ran into a burning building to save Elizabeth and her son Cameron. He was given a non-lethal dose of poison. He was... And that was it up until 2006. He's gone through some stuff. He has. He's had a rough life. <laughs> yes. He still looks really good for all he's gone through. He does. So that's everything that I learned on the internet and through YouTube for just for Jax from 1996 to 2006. Awesome. Thank you. Do you have an idea for a podcast but don't know where to start? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is such an easy way to record and edit a podcast, and you can do it from either your phone or computer. Best part is you don't have to worry about getting it out there. Anchor distributes to many platforms, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. You can start making money right away without having a minimum number of listeners, too. Anchor really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. All right, so after he had to give the baby over to Nicholas, him and Carly still stayed together, which I thought would break them up really quick because her and Sonny belong together forever, but that's okay. We'll just keep going with it. Um, Carly is infuriated with Jax discovering that he had involvement with Michael's shooting and throws him out. That's when they start having issues. Yes. Um, She later lets him back in for the sake of the children, which at that point, none of the children were his children. But no. okay, lets him back in for the sake of the children, but, but still, still tries to keep her distance. Yeah. Okay, Carly is not big on consistency, so give me a break that that's where she okay. wanted to be. But whatever. Yes. Oh, this was cute. During Thanksgiving, Morgan sabotages Carly and Jax's cars to force them to spend Thanksgiving together so that they can get back together. This is after she was pregnant with Jocelyn. Okay. She had never said how risky the pregnancy was with Jocelyn. And all of that, but we ended up having Jocelyn. I'm angry because this points out that that was 2009 that Jocelyn was actually born. And that would make her 10, Mm -hmm. not even 10 yet. Mm -hmm. And yet she's 15. Correct. So. We only aged her five years, though. That's not bad. I feel like that's a lot. Because she should have still been down with, like, Emma and actually younger than Emma. We're going to have to look into who was the most sore-ass kid. Right. So Jax and Carly spend Thanksgiving together, slowly begin to reconcile. And then Jax has found out that Dominic Pirelli, which was Sonny's new recruit, was actually Dante. Dante. So Jax helps Dante build his case against Sonny, wanting him out of Carly's life. Dante is not able to produce solid enough evidence. Jax makes a recording of Sonny implicating himself in Claudia's murder and plays it for Dante. Dante is not impressed. Jax later deletes the recording as he's just got Carly back. And doesn't want to lose her again. He leaves it up to Detective Falconeri to take Sunny down. It mentions Jocelyn was christened on January 29th, 2010. I'm not sure why that is important, but it's in here. And Jax admits to helping Dante bust Sunny, leading Carly to move out and file for divorce again. Spring 2011, Jax becomes convinced that Carly is an unfit mother due to her constant association with Jason and Sunny and decides to fight her for full custody of Jocelyn. Which is, I'm mm-hmm. sorry, that's garbage because... Yeah. He knew that before he even... Yep, and came. Carly was being rational and only wanted joint custody. She wasn't even being a jerk. She was like, here, we can share. Mm-hmm. He does try, or he does hire Alexis as his defense attorney, and even Alexis tries to convince him to compromise because she had gone through a bunch of crap with Sonny over Christina and is trying to show him that it's best if parents work together. And despite Alexis's advice, Jax refuses to listen. After several arguments, he demands that Alexis starts acting like his attorney 
and tells him how to beat Carly in court. So, of course, the only choice that you have is to buy off a court. I wanted to call her a reporter, but she's not a reporter. What is she? Attorney? No. Judge? Mediator. Thank oh, you. Okay. I'm like, what's in the kids' cases? Court mediator. Oh, mediator. See? See? Makes sense. There yeah. you go. So. Been there. Yes. Buys off the. Not buying them off. Just. Oh. <laughs> 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 the police will be at Miss Shannon's door. He does first ask Robin and Olivia to testify against Carly, and they both say no. So he has to go ahead and have, try to dig up some dirt on Sean Butler, who's been hired to bodyguard. I liked Sean. Yes, I liked Sean also. He even provokes Sean into attacking him, which then forces Carly to fire poor Sean. But he was not going to win in the end because Brenda, Michael, and Morgan all still weren't going to testify that Jocelyn should be with him. Again, how many people have to sue Sonny over custody before we realize that the court's it's never gonna not going to get into it? Right. So, whatever. Everything's alleged. <laughs> right. Sonny threatens Jax to back off and then realizes that he has paid off the mediator. So, um, oh, Brenda did testify. I'm sorry. I said that she had it. She was, she was forced to. So, she, when she testified, inadvertently let it slip that she and Alec were sought the night before on Sonny's property, which strengthened Jax's case. So... The only logical thing, once they realized that the mediator had been bought off, was to get to the mediator themselves. So they pay her to be in a hotel room, have Jax come up, start an argument with Jax. She will she refeed him first. Starts an argument with Jax. Hides in the bathroom. Do you remember? Yes. That? Yes. Hides in the bathroom. Yes. So he's pounding on the door like a crazy man. And the cops are called. So then he has drug charges uh -huh. and assault charges against him. Yep. And so he oh. loses custody or loses the fight for custody. And Scotty wasn't around then or else he would have totally. Oh, Scotty would have taken that case. Yeah. And nope. Hmm. So, so Jack says goodbye to them after losing custody. This is when Brenda leaves with him because she's leaving Sonny. Why? <laughs> I don't know. We missed something. He eventually returns to Port Charles in August 2011, determined to get Jocelyn away from Carly. Sneaks into the house he used to share with Carly and takes Jocelyn. This is when he's stopped by Sean, but in the middle of it, Sean has a post-traumatic stress disorder attack. So he goes ahead and heads to the airport. His car breaks down. So he goes to Robin's house. Sean manages to follow Jax to Robin's house. After a meeting at Robin's, Sean convinces Jax to give Jocelyn back to Carly Later on, Sonny comes to Robin's house intent on killing Jax because he blames him for Brenda leaving him. Just as he holds the gun up, Robin stops him and gets hurt. I remember that. That was like a mm. whole big, wow, Robin needed to cry. It wasn't really important. Jax leaves so he won't get arrested by the police. At the airport, he's waiting for takeoff, but flies into the air without permission from air traffic control to avoid the police. As he starts flying, his plane starts to shut down. He realizes that Sonny messed with his plane. Dante later reports that Jack's plane crashed into the harbor and he is presumed dead. Of course. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. So Sky is who finds Jax mm -hmm. in a warehouse with his parachute because he would manage to get out in the nick of time. And she decides to help him so that he can continue to play up that he is dead. He overhears Carly talking about how she wants to keep the kids away from Sonny and that she doesn't know how she's going to tell Jocelyn that her father has died. And so Jax is content that her and Joss are going to be fine. And he leaves assuming that they are going to be safe. I said, jeez, I still don't understand why you would fake your death and not see your child. Right. But okay. He returns again. Have you ever wondered about the life insurance that's probably been paid out on these characters? Right. What happens? Because you know that Jax would have had, like, he would have had some kind of an estate, some watch, kind of life insurance um, set up for... Jane the Virgin? No. Okay. So the one guy got taken, it's like along the same, it's a nighttime soap instead of a daytime soap. So the one guy got taken and they presumed that he was dead. So she collected the life insurance and then he came back five years later, four years later, something like that. Mm -hmm. And the life insurance company was suing him for the $40,000 life insurance because they well, you know Jax lie. has more than so $40,000. In this so, case, like, they owe a lot of money back in life insurance. Multiple times have over. You pay it back if you stole. They're probably yeah. a higher risk for underwriting. Right. That's why our rates are so high. <laughs> Thanks, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, he has a good financial plan for his family. <laughs> well, 
wants to ask his insurance agent yeah. and financial planner is so we can make sure we're taking care it's of it. It's him because he reads balance sheets. No, I think there's a little more to it than there that, is, but there okay. Is, there is. Anyway, Jax returns to Port Charles again in December 2011, and the truth that he is still alive is revealed to everyone. Carly is attacked by all of Jack's friends and enemies for keeping the secret that she was suspected to have known that Jax is alive. But she, like, she, yeah, she suspected that, but she didn't have right. any proof. Why are you angry? I don't understand. Jax returns to comfort Michael over the loss of his girlfriend, Abby. I don't remember this. Who was Abby? It was his ex fiance. How did she? I don't, but name. I don't remember about. either, and I feel like that time is when you and I both probably took a hiatus. Maybe, but this explains why Michael and Jax have such a good relationship is this was the turning point where Michael like didn't know what he was going to do. Okay. And Jax gave him like a fatherly talk about stay away from Sonny's business, go into the real business. Mm. And that is why. Yeah, that was 2012? Mm-hmm. Since so December 2011 to January 2012. Michael finally decides to head in a different direction. I was watching in life that. After some fatherly advice from Jax and gives up his desire to enter the mall business. Shortly thereafter, Jax leaves town again. Returns again in late summer 2012 when he hears that Jocelyn is ill. Later revealed that Jerry Jax had kidnapped Jocelyn and given her an antitoxin so that she wouldn't get sick whenever he poisoned all of the water in yep. Port Charles. And that was the last time that we saw Edward, too, because remember when little Emma was in the thing and Edward oh, gave up his vial yes, for her and yes. then he gave the thumbs up. And I believe that was the last time. Sorry, that was like totally <laughs> off. But it's not because we're talking about the antitoxin. Right. right. But yes. Yes. Sorry. That That's was okay. my scroll moment because I right. think that was like one of the best. That was. We didn't know that was going to be the last time that we saw him. Right. And he was being so nice. And he so. passed away like a month later. Yeah. Oh, very sad. I miss Edward and Me Lila. too. Anyway, Jax helps take down his brother and aids in the process of securing a cure for the pathogen. Jax is injured from the explosion. Again, we love explosions, which presumably killed Jerry. Jax leaves and returns to Australia. He returned again April 1st, 2013 as part of the 50th anniversary. And that's whenever he, I thought this was a dumb storyline, when he shows up and tells Carly, hey, by the way, we weren't really divorced. Right. So, yeah. I, like, I just feel like that's dumb. Yeah. Like, it was just, it didn't add anything to the storyline. The high points that the article mentioned was that this is how Nell got brought into everything. Right. Was that we didn't know that when Jocelyn, oh, I missed that I started after that because I just kind of was going from where you were. It was before that that he did come back for Joss because she was sick and it turned out that she had cancer. I don't understand. She needed a new kidney. She needed a new kidney, but to me it seems like there was treatment options. Maybe we could have like held on for a little while before we'd go just buying a kidney off the black market. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. He bought the kidney off of Nell in 2011, but we don't find out about that until 2017. Okay. Which is how Nell came into the picture because if you remember, she originally thought she that only Carly, came in 2017. Mm -hmm. Well, that's whenever we found out. So she oh, okay. came in like 16, okay. but 17 is when we found out. Because remember the whole storyline build up of she thought that I she was mad feel at like Carly. She's been around a and lot then it longer came out than that she was mad at Carly because she thought Carly bought the kidney. Yeah. But Carly hadn't bought the kidney. Right. Blah blah blah. So yeah, you found but that she's out. She's been in gone for like six months, and it feels like she was around a lot longer than a year and a half. I don't know when she first came on the scene. I don't know. Okay, well, sorry. It will no. That so would make, would, that would no. That timeline makes sense because in August of 2016 is when Jax was threatening Carly to stop looking for the donor. Remember, <sighs> that's they right. So that she whole, would have come earlier in 2016. Yeah, yeah, because she went. Did that whole, yep, I want to find the donor, yep, with the magazine, yep, and whatever, yep, 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 yep. so, yep, so yeah, that would be one now. <laughs> I just don't like those things on Sesame Street. <laughs> 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 That's a little fucking guys. Yep, 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 super, yep, super yep. cute. <laughs> <laughs> We're such dorks. Um, yeah, you mentioned being shot. He slept with Kate while he was still married to Carly. Yep, that was like early, earlier stuff. That, I felt like wasn't really that important because him and Carly were already having issues at that point in time. Yeah. And, um, oh, he helped free Jerry in 2012 and then regretted that because that was when Jerry then poisoned all of the 
<laughs> all of Port Charles. All of Port Charles with the water and the whatever. So, it's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, he left. And it didn't mention it in this article, but the reason that he was gone for so or the reason they explained yeah. why he was gone for so long was because Sonny had set him up and had him deported right. and wouldn't let him come back in the country. Which he's mentioned multiple times yes. now since he's so, come back. Right, so everyone should know that, but in case you don't know, that was what happened and that was why he was gone. Well, then why so, did he come back just now? Gotta wrap it up. He came back now to hook up with Nina because... No. He yes. came back because Oscar <laughs> died and his daughter needed him. But the storyline's gonna play out that he came back to try to hook up with Nina. I don't think that was his so original far, intention. I just think it's gonna wind up happening. Because so far we've seen him interact with Joss twice. So here's my question, though. It seems like Brenda has always returned when he has. Yes. Is Brenda going to be returning? I hope so, because I love Brenda. I don't know. But I don't know how they're going to tie that storyline together, because even the last time Mm -hmm. that she sent that dress for Joss, she didn't show up. Yeah. Like, I thought that was going to be a lead into her coming back. Yeah. So I don't know if she doesn't want to come back or if they just don't have the storyline for her. I love Brenda. Vanessa Marcel. I love her. We need you. Do you know she was in the Prince video for Most Beautiful Girl uh-huh. in the World? They were friends. Mm-hmm. I'm so jealous of her. I I'm a big Prince. Prince fan. So I'm like, oh, yes. I loved Prince. But I yes. loved, I loved Brenda. So yes. the two just went together. I loved that song. Anyway, so yeah, he's back now because Oscar died. He needs to be there for his daughter. But he coincidentally has some business ventures he's getting into. So he's home for an undetermined amount of time. Buying the house right next to Sonny and Carly. Buying Kate's house. Yeah. Kate slash Connie Falconeri. Right. Yes. We have so much to talk about. We do. Doing these reviews makes me realize how much other people may not know and how much we've forgotten. Yes. And the way everybody I just want to quit life and watch the 90s again. (laughs) Like, that's. How long would it take to binge watch 56 years of General Hospital? Oh, my goodness. (laughs) A long time. That was my favorite part, though, whenever the 50th anniversary came out and they did the 24 hours of General Hospital on the yes. Soap Network. That was great. That is awesome. That was fantastic. That should be a, like, weekly option for us. Yes. So we can get caught up. Yes. All right. So over the next couple of days, please go to our Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Let us know what your favorite dad moment has been in General Hospital. Thank you for listening to the info session about who is Jasper Jacks. Hopefully you learned something. If we forgot something, please feel free to email us at peer54podcast at gmail.com. Right. And I think that's all that we have on Jax. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Have a good weekend. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to subscribe and follow on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or whatever you listen to. Also, please give us a review. This helps us know what you like. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And also, we're not perfect, so if there is something that we messed up or something that we missed, or if there's just something that you want to talk about, let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com.